Hey guys, I'm back in SFS. On one of my videos, I saw a comment asking me to land on Mercury and return in hard mode. I thought that could be pretty interesting, so I decided to try it out. Although I could just build a really large rocket and call it a day. I'm giving myself a challenge by not using cheats. As you can see here, I'm placing a 12 wide engine plate, so I can attach three Titan engines for a large boost to orbit. This provides over 1,300 tons of thrust, which gives me plenty of room for my upper stages. I added two boosters for an additional 800 tons of thrust. I'm also adding fuel tanks between the main stage and the boosters for a bigger payload. And after finishing up the rocket, we can see it here on the launch pad. And liftoff of the Prometheus. I named it the Prometheus because he was the Greek god who gave humanity fire. And if you don't know the scale of SFS hard mode, it's 1 units to 10 units. This means it is 2 times larger than normal SFS. Instead of 30 kilometers of atmosphere, it's 50, which is insane. Alright, first stage separation. Those three frontier engines will push us to 100 kilometers, then the third stage will achieve orbit. Orbit achieved. Our next step is to get an encounter with Mercury. And we are going to do so using our Dawn propulsion system, which utilizes four ion engines. Because Mercury's orbit is close to the Sun, we can easily get a transfer window by waiting six to seven days. Now for the worst part, the geological time scale ion engine burns. I'm going to slow down a bit before entering Mercury's sphere of influence. Transferring fuel. Eleven burns later we arrive at Mercury, but we are still going over 2,850 meters per second at the edge of Mercury's SOI. I already discarded the empty third stage, so we can resume our excruciatingly long ion engine burns. After a couple lifetimes, we have finally reached low Mercury orbit. Unfortunately, our lander only has 76% fuel remaining because of how much we consumed getting here. Nevertheless, we will attempt a landing on the surface, and unlike Bob, assuming you remember what happened to him. Who got thrown off Mars by a nuke, and who I'm sure isn't planning revenge. Unlike him, 
we will safely return to orbit. As you can see, I've started the deorbit burn. I'm going to land on a flat spot in this crater and hopefully not crash into Mercury at 67 meters per second. Success. We have landed on Mercury. We should also be aware that Mercury is extremely hot. Now that we're on the surface, there's nothing much to do. And because our transfer to Earth is in 14 days, I'm going to release our astronaut, Mr. Sahar, to go explore the surface or whatever he wants to do. Fourteen days later, Mr. Sahar is returning to the lander. And liftoff. We are going to dock with the DPS and return back home after 67 days. I mean 123 days. And we have docked back to the DPG. And our ion engine burns continue. This time I'm going to quickly skip over them. All the fuel in the lander is spent, so I am going to remove it. Now our delta V is much higher at 7,000 meters per second. My plan is to slow down when we get to Earth so the heat shield doesn't overheat. After slowing down, it's time to return after 123 days. Thanks for watching and have a good rest of your day.